to Chicago's very own WGN Morning News at 8. And the new year will mean many of us will start to reevaluate our life choices, including our approach to our personal finances. Craig Bolano, CEO of Wealth Management Group, joins us now with some good advice here for the uh, for the new year. Craig, nice to see you. No, good morning. Thanks for yeah. having me back. So, I mean, everyone is so concerned about being, you know, physically fit in the new year. Yeah. Everyone's got their gym bags, their water bottles, all their new clothes, and I want everyone to make a commitment to financial fitness in the new year. And I think that starts by setting some very smart goals. Goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and are on a timetable. Okay, right. so how do we do that? Do I need to sit down uh, with my notebook and kind of put together a spending plan? Well, I think what we should do is first sit down and let's make them very specific as I alluded to. It's not enough to say I'm going to spend less and save more this year. It's more about I'm going to save money for a purpose, i.e. I'm going to retire at 65. And maybe to your point, if we break it down and start simple, we should just begin by establishing an emergency fund. Okay, yeah. so we're going to talk to uh, go through some specific points here uh, that you gave it. The first one is um, Take control of your future, okay? That seems pretty obvious, but how would you like to define that? Well, I, I think, you know, I define that by saying this. Everyone is always pointing the finger, saying, you know, I'm not where I want to be financially because of him, because of her, because mm -hmm. of some mm -hmm. circumstance. Let's make 2017 the year that we own. I mean, we're in control. We can solve the problem. We can get this started. And again, let's just commit with step number one, which is that emergency fund. And I don't want people to worry about the daunting task of putting away three to six months of income. Let's focus by actually just starting on one month of expenses in an FDIC insured savings account. One of the other things that you say is write out your goals, which is what I think is probably the most important thing, because once you see it on paper, it's a lot easier to make it happen, right? So maybe you don't spend that money on a cup of coffee or... Um, I don't know, maybe you don't go out as much. I well, I think you're that. right. If, if you make your goals purposeful and you have them written and they're visible and you even create accountability partners, I mean, spend time with a spouse and say what's important about money to us together today. And when you start having those meaningful conversations, it creates some added motivation to stop some of the frivolous spending. Are there tricks? Like I've heard people, they will take out like $300 in cash and they will not, they will not use any more than what's in that envelope for the week or they will um, do a spreadsheet maybe to keep track of what they're spending. Are there little tricks that you recommend for people? Well, you know what? I would suggest people do whatever works for them. So if taking money out, putting in an envelope is the secret to success for your family, go and do it. If you love living in the world of Excel, let's go ahead and use some of the online software and budget accordingly. But it comes down to just small, sincere, actionable items that lead to success. So, you know, once we're done with that emergency reserves, what's the biggest daunting task everybody has in January, paying off the credit card right. bills. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to ask you about. So for people who are watching right now that may be looking at some of that daunting credit card debt, $10,000, uh, $20,000, perhaps even more, is that the top priority to knock that out before you start thinking about um, you know, putting money away in a savings account? Well, you know what? I think you have to establish that savings account, that emergency reserve first, because when you have that cash cushion, it prevents you from going into debt in the first place. But the way to conquer the debt is not to throw a little bit of money at everything. Let's take the smallest balance you have and work on paying that down first, then go on to the next, then go on to the next, because if you just throw money at everything, you don't feel like you're getting anywhere. Mm -hmm. But if we can take that $300 credit card from the store and pay that off in January, what do we do? We celebrate its success and it's meaningful. Uh, nice. Save for retirement is one of uh, your key things on this list. Well, it is. I mean, America is under safe for retirement. We have a retirement savings crisis. And I think so many Americans should be spending the new year saying, what can I do to secure my future? And that leads us to discussions about funding Roth IRAs, Roth 401ks, as an example. Talk to us about saving for college here, specifically the 529 college savings plan. Yes. So um, the 529 college savings plan has been around for a long time. In Illinois, we actually have two types of plans. We have prepaid tuition plans, and we also also have what are called 529 savings plans. Which one is right for your family really depends on circumstances, but the 529 savings plan is literally the granddaddy, the greatest option for Americans to be saving for higher education expenses today. Okay. okay. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, we have one more time for one more here. Take care of your family life insurance. 
Yeah, so I think it's just a matter of responsibility. I mean, especially if you've got young kids, you have a family, go out and protect them. Get dirt cheap term insurance to get started. And don't just forget the insurance. Make sure you have wills, trusts, and an estate plan done as well. All right, okay. great. Fantastic advice across the board there, Craig. Thank you so much for joining us. You can watch Craig host a one-hour financial show in the know on WIND AM 560. That's on Sundays at 10 a.m. You can also find more information at Invest with WMG.com. Thanks again. Thank you. All right.